everyone, this is your girl Reese, and I'm coming back at you again with another video. Um, this is going to be my empties video, and it's my first empties video. And I decided to do these videos because I saw people on YouTube were doing them, and they're really popular. People actually like them, and I like them too, just to see what products people go through and use up, and different things like that. So I decided to collect um, different empties that I've used up. Um, and what I re and I'll let you know if I would repurchase them or leave them where they are or whatnot. So yeah, I'm gonna let me just jump into the video so I can make this kind of quick and let you guys know what I've used up. And this has been over a period of time. This is not like I feel like this is a couple like a couple months, like dating back to like maybe May or June. Like this is pretty far back. So from like June till now. So this is all the stuff that I've used up and that I've kept. So yeah. The first thing I have is these are these good and clean disinfected wipes and these are lemon scent. And these are just generic wipes that you can get from Dollar Tree. That's where I get these from. And I just use them to clean my um, vanity, the one that you see behind me, just to wipe down the tabletop because it's so small. Um, I don't need to like steady like get a like you know a cloth and dip it in water and bleach or whatever or rub it down. These wipes usually do the trick. So I go between the generic ones and the Clorox ones, and I've used the generic ones all up. And yes, I would repurchase these, and I have repurchased these. I have a new pack down there, and I just and I just bought another one for when that one runs out. So, yeah. Next up is my Dawn Ultra uh, soap with uh, Olay Beauty Hand Renewal, and this is in the scent of uh, Tropical Shea Butter Scent. And I've used this whole bottle up and basically I use this to clean my brushes. I saw Marlene here on YouTube talking that she used this soap. This is one of her older videos that she used the soap to clean her brushes. So I was interested in it because it's, it has hand renewal and shea butter, you know, and shea butter. So I was thinking that it can um, soften my brushes as well as clean. So I actually really like this and would I repurchase it? Yes because I've actually repurchased it already and I have a bottle in my bed, in my um in my kitchen that I use to clean my brushes. So yes, I really like this and I'm also working on I bought I have a travel a small Dawn Platinum to see what that's about because I saw Platinum D, she was talking about that. So I wanted to um see what that one was like. And I'll let you guys know if I like it better than this one or not but I really like this and I would buy another one and I already have bought another one so yeah um next is this um sleep aromatherapy lavender and chamomile bath wash and foam bath from Bath and Body Works um I got this because it was on sale I used to have a I used to be on a big Bath and Body Works kick um, last year I used to just buy, 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 so I couldn't get enough of Bath and Body Works. But this was one of the purchases I made, and I loved it for at night when I was getting ready to go to sleep. This will help relax me when I used to take showers at night. So I really like this, and when I repurchased it, yes, I've already I already have. I don't pay full price for this because it is thirteen dollars. I usually catch them when they're like five dollar aromatherapy things at Bath and Body Works. So yeah, I got that. And another thing I have is the Equate uh, Deep Cleaning Astringent with a uh, Silic Acid Acne Medication for a Sensitive Skin. And I do like this. Yes, I do because I think I have another bottle in there that I've used up of this. And I, re I really like it. Um, it helps with my pimples. It's not too strong. It's just enough just to help, you know, with the acne that's going on on my forehead. And it's com they said that this compared to Clean and Clear Sensitive Skin Astringent. I haven't tried the Clean and Clear. I just used this one. And I really like it. Will I repurchase it? Yes, I've repurchased it many a times. I'm working on my second bottle. No, like my fifth or sixth bottle that I've had of these right now. So, yes, I love it, love it, love it. Um, next up is this L'Oreal. 
Next up is this L'Oreal Ever Sleek Sulfate Free Smoothing System, and it has the um, repair reparative smoothing conditioner and the reparative uh, smoothing shampoo. Will I? These were okay. They weren't the greatest. Um, it said for chemically straightened or damaged hair. I am relaxed. Um, I don't get relaxers that often anymore. I've I was down to two. I've gotten three this year. I've gotten three relaxers this year. But for 2015, I'm gonna work and try to at least get at least one. Or if I can't do one, then two. I'm trying to kind of wing myself off a of relaxer because I get been getting perms since I was a little girl. So I'm trying to wing myself off the relaxer kick and work on my natural hair. But right now, I haven't had my hair perm in like five months or so. So, yeah. But I was using this because, you know, it was sulfate free and all this stuff. And I really, it was okay. Mm, I wouldn't buy it again. So, cause it, it was it was all right. I really didn't see what it was was the big deal was about it. Like that was sulfate free, yeah. But mm, I've no better sulfate free shampoos and conditioners. So yeah, these were okay, but I won't be repurchasing. Um, next is this Elastic QP Soy Oil Protein Plus Vitamins Ultra Ultra Hydration Anti Breakage Moisture Rich Deep Conditioner. Ooh, that was a lot to say. But yes, I really like this stuff. This is actually my second tube of this. I had a big one, and then this is the little one that I bought after I used the big one up. And I don't, yeah, I don't, I threw the big one away, but I kept this one. And um, it's pretty good. I haven't bought this in a while. I haven't been using this. I've been using the Aunt Jackie's currently. So I really like Aunt Jackie's. And I like this too, but I was just looking at some of the ingredients I had in there. And it kind of, like, it has the mineral oil and petroleum in there. And I know those are not good for your hair. So I said I would try something else that didn't have those in there. But I may go back to it because it's really, it was really good to my hair. So, um, will I repurchase? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. So, but yeah. That's another empty. And the next empty that's not quite empty, it's still some lotion in here, is the Razik Hands and Body Lotion. And this stuff smells so good. Like, every time I wear this, people always want to know what I have on, what do I smell like, what's that smell. It, it's not perfumey. It's like a clean baby scent. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it smells so good and it's actually a lot of lotion left in here so i'm probably gonna cut it open and get the rest of it out because i can feel it even though i can't squeeze it i can feel it around in the inside so i may just cut it open and get that lotion out but this stuff is really really good and i like it and um you can find this at the at your local beauty supply store so if you've ever wondered what this smells like it's really good and it's moisturizing and I actually what I actually have two more bottles right on my dresser right now that I'm looking at. So would I repurchase this? Yes, I already have. We'll keep purchasing it and smelling fierce, smelling delicious because this smells so good. And you can actually top it off with any perfume or cologne and you'll still smell good. So yes, I will be rep actually I want to go get another one so I can just have a backup when those two are gone. But yeah. Love it. Love it, love it, love this stuff. Okay, got a few more in here. Next up is a bottle of mild and gentle baby oil from the dollar store. This was just some baby oil that I use for my brushes for when I'm getting ready to wash them to kind of condition them and to get some and to loosen up some of the dirt in them. I do pour this on to like a folded up napkin. Um, or paper towel and I pour a little bit on the paper towel and then I just rub my brush around there to loosen up some of the dirt and also to condition them and I just use a generic little baby oil nothing too serious so will I repurchase this yes I have repurchased it already I have one for my brushes yes. and next we have the Equate cleansing facial wipes and these are compared to the simple cleansing facial wipes 
And when I saw that Equate started making these, I grabbed like three packs of them literally because they were only $3.48. Because simple wipes can be expensive. They can range between $4.50 and $5 depending on where you shop. Like if you're CVS, Walgreens, Target, or Walmart. So they can be pretty expensive. So when I seen the Equate made a generic version, I grabbed like three packs for like, it was like $3.48, which wasn't bad at all. So, I really like these. Will I repurchase them? Yes, I already have. Um, these are for when I don't want to use, when I don't have a lot of makeup on, just a little bit. I usually grab for these before I grab for my simple or my Aveeno you know, wipes. I grab for my little generic ones just to get the makeup off. Um, and next, and here is another bottle of the Deep Cleaning Astringent. That's another one. I told you I like this stuff. Um, next is the Adidas for Women Fizzy Energy Body Fragrance. And that's what it looks like. And I really, really like this. I actually bought this for a quarter out of Walmart because one day it was on the clearance section and it was a quarter. And I smelled it and I loved it. I lost the top to it, so excuse me for that. But I loved it. It smells it just smells so refreshing and can I get a can I get a squirt? Oh, oh shit. Ooh, excuse me. It just smells so it just smells it just smells really good. I can't really it's kind of a fruity scent, but it's a beautiful fruity scent. It smells really good. And a lot of people always ask me what I have on when I have this on. They think it's like some high end perfume or something when it's just Adidas body spray and it's um body fragrance excuse me and it smells really good I would purchase I have another one because there was two on the clearance rack um so I got two for 50 cents so I have another one of these already that I'm using and I do want to find another one but I'm not sure if they make this one anymore that's why I think it was on the clearance because I actually went to Meyer and I was able to find other Adidas body fragrance fragrances but not this one, the Fizzy Energy. So I'm going to see if I can still find it because I really like it, the way it smells. It smells so good. But yeah. So moving on to the last few things. Um, one thing I have here is the Method Summer Collection Fresh and Clean Body Wash. And the flavor um, Bram Brambleberry Gelato. Um... I saw this on the clearance section in Target over the summer, and I was just like, you know, I was like, ooh, this smells good. And I got two of these. I got one of the like a vanilla cupcake, and then I got this one. And I used the vanilla cupcake up. I just the smell. It smelled nice at first, but then after a while, it was just kind of like I'm tired of smelling like vanilla cupcakes. Like this, mm -mm, I can't. The smell has to go. So I started using this one, and it was okay. I wouldn't repurchase anything from Methods because they're really expensive unless you get something on clearance. So I probably won't purchase, repurchase these again because I've seen they have other scents, but no more for me. This was a one-time deal because it was on clearance. So, yeah. And last but not least is my favorite, the Satafield Daily uh, Cleanser for normal to oily skin. I love this. It was actually recommended to me by my dermatologist. He told me to stop using what the Neutrogena I was using on my face and to use the Cetaphil. It should be more gentle and kinder to my skin. And ever since he told me that in like 2011, I fell in love with it and I love it, love it, love it. And I use it all the time. I use this with baking soda in the morning. I put a squirt of this in my hand, pour a little baking soda on top, and add just a little drops of water and rub it together to get a nice consistency. And I just wash my face with it and I love it for my skin. It's really nice. I don't think I'm going to ever stop using it um, because I love it so. Have I repurchased it? Yes, I have repurchased several of these. I'm also, I'm probably on my, like my 10th or 13th bottle. I have a really big one in the bathroom now because it was on sale. So yeah, I will repurchase these all the time. And that concludes my empties video. Those are all the empties that I currently have used up. Um, I will start recollecting again. Um, so I should have another empties video to you sometime next year. So you can look out for that just to see the products that I've used up. I will link, I will list 
and I will list all the products below and all the products that I will repurchase I will put a link to where you can get those products for the ones that I won't repurchase I'll just put the name down below so make sure you subscribe to my channel share this video tell your friends about it and also make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram all the information is down below and I love you guys and thank you for watching